I was so impressed by the way he jumped off that fire truck and went to work and I said, that's what I want to be in life right there. At that point, I made up my mind what I was going to be. Uh, fortunate, but the police department called me first. I tell every kid, you take every exam, you ain't got to take the job. Get in the habit of start taking exams, you don't have to take the job, but be able to say no. That's the most important thing you can do in here, right? Be able to do it. Um, after that, I've been in all the specialized units, I've been on all the presidential details, uh, I've been to the White House, I've been to the Prime Minister's house, I've been to, uh, been on the terrorist teams, I've done a lot of great things. One of the greatest things I've ever done was start the Black Fire Brigade. One of the reasons I started it was this. I've been to more gunshots and shootings in my lifetime than the average guy in Vietnam. I've done CPR on more kids like you. I've stopped the bleed on more kids like you than you can imagine. These eyes can never forget what they've seen. I'll never forget the tragedy and the carnage I've seen in my entire life. I grew up in it, and I'm a 36-year veteran in this business still today. And I dedicate my life to saving your life. And my model became, if you teach a kid to save a life, they'll be less likely to take one. Every last one of y'all is a leader in your own right. Start standing up and take your leadership role. So I have one last question for I want to uh, open it up for questions from the audience. If you